Banished under the earth for 5,500 years, these small figures of men, women, and children were found in northeast Syria. Fragments from the past staring back at us with unblinking eyes. Friends and people I've heard of have vanished in Syria. Disappeared for something they'd seen. Witnesses hidden from plain sight. Basil was a hacker. He set up Syria's first hack lab. Like thousands of others, he documented what was happening in his country. So many across the country were working for a better Syria. تعقلوا يا جماعة سوريا واحدة سليمة أبية للجميع فالجميع لسوريا وخيرها لكن هلا حكى باسل وقال انه اجى الدورية تاخده قالوا له يضب كل اغراضه بس ما بيعرف لوين رح ياخده بس هيك Senti la radio 3. Radio 3. Sì. No, ho sbagliato, radio 1. Mamma. Il 29 luglio dello scorso anno veniva sequestrato in Iraq nel nord della Siria padre Paolo Dall'Oglio. Hi everybody, uh, this is Jimmy Wales here. Uh, it's been four years since Basil was first arrested. Uh, since then, as you probably know, he's been disappeared. Get in touch with the local media, let them know about it. Bring out as many people as you can. <laughs> cool. Everybody today is asking where is Basil and putting those photos online. I say, where is Basil? We're all asking. Just tell us if he's alive. Hashtag it, come on. It's a very good story. This is our hand, Father Paolo, for his return. When people disappear and stories are unknown, we are only left with fragments to put together the truth. Like archaeologists imagining societies of the past. Found deep in the ground, dirt was cleared away revealing each idol. Fitting in the palm of your hands, everyone is unique. Staring back at us, their eyes are like lenses of a camera. Each idol carries fragments of a bigger story.